this is a quick overview of how to use API documentation. An API is the code that you can use to hook into some functionality. This can be things like a standard library in a programming language, uh, an environment such as an operating system or web browser that has features you can use, uh, or maybe accessing some hardware such as a camera in a smartphone. So first I'll talk about how to find API documentation. The first place you should look is on the main site for the framework that you're using. So in this case, this is the Node.js main page. And you can see that there's a, a link in the menu to docs and also a, a big link down here to API docs. So that takes me to the official API documentation. And I should expect that to be the best documentation for Node because it's written by the people who make Node. The other way to find documentation is to find it in a search engine. So in this case, I might be interested in the JavaScript min function. Uh, just typing the name of a function might not be so good because it'll give you some unrelated results. So the only programming one I can see is for PHP, which is a different programming language. So it's good to include the name of the programming language or framework that you're interested in. And that can help to give you better quality results uh, that are more specific to what you're doing. Um, I can also see I've got a few different results here from different places in this case. And I know that Mozilla Dev Network is um, a much better quality source. Uh, because I know that they're the best source for JavaScript, I'll generally include MDN in my search as well in this case. So it can be good to include uh, the name of a trusted source that you know is good quality and that can help to give you, give you the best results at the top. So once you've found some API documentation, how do you read it? Um, well, one of the first things to do, and I'll just jump back to the node documentation here, is to look for some kind of description of the docs. So here is an overview of the node documentation, uh, and that can be good to read through just to get an idea of how they structure the documentation, anything that they might do uh, that's unusual or different to others, um, and any special syntax that they have in the documentation to, um, to refer to things. Um, Another note is that usually documentation for an API will assume that you are familiar with the syntax of the language, and it'll also assume that you are familiar with the broad concepts of a framework um, or um, other things. So once you know the syntax of the language and you've found your API documentation, what should you be looking for? Well, probably the first thing you should always look for is some kind of summary or overview. So here's a summary for the, um, the min function. And so that tells us the purpose of it, in this case, to return the smallest of zero or more, num more numbers. Um, so after that, then usually you might look for the location that it's in. So in this case, if I want to use the min function, it's in the math module. And again, this, this dot in between is a JavaScript specific thing. So I know that in JavaScript, a dot accesses a member of an object or, or a module. And once you know where it is, and so that'll tell you sort of what you might need to import to use it, uh, another good thing to look for is the syntax. So this will tell you exactly um, what you might need to type in your code to be able to use this. Um, Something that you'll often see in, um, in the syntax is something in these square brackets, and that usually refers to something optional. Uh, but everything else you see here is just the syntax of the language. Um, so in this case, I can see that it's um, the min function in the math module, and I've got some optional arguments that can be passed in here. Uh, a few things that you're looking for in the syntax is uh, what are the expected inputs? So in this case, what are the arguments? that it um, takes, um, and maybe sort of what types they are. So in this case, it specifies I'm looking for numbers. Uh, are they optional? In this case, yes, some of them are. Are there any preconditions before I should run this? In this case, there's nothing mentioned. Uh, and then what are the expected outputs? So in this case, I know from the summary that it returns uh, the smallest number. But then I can see in the description here, there's a bit more detail uh, about what happens if I give it no numbers. It'll return infinity. and if I pass in something that isn't a number, then I'll get NAN back. Uh, just a quick note about NAN, so maybe if you're not familiar with what NAN is, it's definitely worth uh, looking up anything you don't understand. 
and here they've got a, a description of it on mouse over and you can click on it to go and read about it um, but even if they don't have that if you come across something new it can be worth looking up and then coming back and reading again when you have an understanding of, of what that means. Other things to look for are usage examples. So good doc documentation will often provide these and they can really help you to get an idea of how it's supposed to be used um, and also just get some, some repetition of how it's used. And then something else you want to look for is uh, support and compatibility. So in this case, I, I can see a section on browser compatibility because JavaScript can run in a web browser. And that gives me an overview of which browsers this will run in. Other things to do with compatibility that you're looking for are things like which version of the language or, or uh, library was it introduced in. Um, and maybe if there are separate environments such as browser environments or here we've got mobile and desktop, um, is it supported in all of those? Uh, and then another thing to look for, which I'll just jump over to another page for, is um, whether things are deprecated or unstable. So in this case, it's the get year function. Um, this one's also in JavaScript, but we can see a note here that it's deprecated. And deprecated means that uh, it shouldn't be used anymore for some reason. Um, in this case, if we read the summary, we can see the reason is because uh, this suffers from the Y2K um, problem. And so there's an alternative that, that doesn't suffer from that. Usually something that's deprecated will point to uh, the version that you should be using um, of that thing. Uh, and then the other one is stability. So like if we have a look at the overview of node documentation, they have a note about their stability index. So if something uh, is experimental, then they may change the API at some point. So if you're using uh, unstable or experimental features, you should be aware that you may need to go and update your code later if they change the API. That's pretty much all of the main things that I wanted to cover. I have a few tips as well. So um, using search in your browser, so like control F in this case, can really help you to, to find things, especially if you have a big documentation page. Um, so that can help me to quickly jump to a summary uh, also, you can look for overviews um, that can help you to find that. Um, another thing is just to take your time. Uh, don't try to rush things because there is a lot of information and you can get overloaded quite easily. Um, it can help just to focus on asking yourself, what do I need to know right now? So am I looking at something that I have no idea what it is and I need to look at the summary? Or do I know what it is, but I just need to look at the specific syntax of how to use it, um, questions like that. Do look up things that you don't understand, um, because overlooking them can be a bad habit to get into, and looking them up does help to uh, get you a, a better, deeper understanding and make your life easier when you're reading things in future. Uh, and the other thing is that if you're feeling overloaded, it can really help just to take a break, um, go make a drink or take a walk, um, let yourself process things for a little while and then come back when you're less overloaded. And that's everything. Thanks for watching. Hope it's helpful.